Yo guys, uh, what is going on? I'm back to another video. Before we start the video, I just want to do a quick shout out to Taylor Bennett. There you go, there's a shout out, my friend. Cheers for everything you do. Um, and basically, obviously by the title of this video, players out of contract and what the heck's going to happen to our team. Now, this is not even a laughing matter to be fair to you. This is like quite a serious quite a serious thing that I seen last night. Now, as you do, on a night or during the day, whatever, or whenever you, whenever you watch TV, uh, the first thing I do is often put on Sky Sports News. I put on Sky Sports News yesterday. And I've seen in the bottom corner, inside one of the headlines, players uh, uh, players are free to leave as from June the 30th. And it worried me a little bit. Because Buddha fans are not idiots. You know what I mean? We know that there's a lot of players inside our team right now that need new contracts. And at the minute, we've heard no news on these new contracts, of course. With the outbreak, of course, with the lockdown, everything's up inside the air at the minute. Now, will we be allowed to keep these players? If this season does continue in in uh, inside of June, are we allowed to keep one of these players? Because of course it is our fault for what's happened. But then again, it is football. These things don't happen every single day. But how would it go? I mean, that's all a bit of confusion. Nobody really knows the answer to that bit. But I was basically looking last night and I did a little bit of googling on the players out contract and when can these players actually leave? Like you know what I mean? Like so. And it just kind of threw me off a little bit. So basically, these players can leave as from June the 30th. We've got a bundle of players on this list right in front of me that can leave as from June the 30th. We've got two players that can leave in May the 31st and uh, to cancel. Or, or should I say, obviously, that, that's them obviously done their loan and go back. Now, the two players who loan's actually going to end on um, May the 31st is Lucas Nemecha and Ravel Morrison. Them two will leave May the 31st. Now, of course, I'm, I'm not the FA. I can't tell you if these players are going to be allowed to be extended um you know what I mean at a football club and uh, make up the time for obviously the play for obviously the game that weren't played. If that is the case then buzzing because Robert and Ravel Morrison may may then get inside our team and you know what I mean them two players are fairly very special players as well. Um but if they don't then them players will leave inside of May the thirty first and the Metro and Ravel Morrison will go back to their parent clubs being Ravel Morrison back to Sheffield United, the Metro back to Manchester City. The other players um, that are obviously featured all season long pretty much um, they're the players that can leave on the 30th of June as Johnny Housen, Marvin Johnson, Daniel Ayala, Rudy Gisted, um, McCoody, um, George Friend, Ainsley Pears and Ryan Shotton. That's worrying. That's worrying to me because I didn't actually know, uh, you know what I mean, I mean I didn't know a whole thing about the contracts, when can these players leave etc. And of course with the outbreak I don't think anybody expected this to happen. In terms of if this season continues in June, or even like midpoint of June, we might we might not have these players to continue the season with, which might spiral us into a League One fight, uh, or should I say into a relegation fight early into League One next season. That could happen. Very much that could very much happen if these players leave. And of course, it isn't our doing. We didn't know this was going to happen to us. We didn't know this whole lockdown across the world was going to happen. But it's happening, and there's nothing much we can do about it now. I look at it and I think, well, all them players that are going to be out of contract are all players that feature in our team. Ainsley Pears is our number one goalkeeper. Ryan Shotton, when he's fit, he'll play the games. George Friends in the same bracket. McCoody, of course, he's our centre back. He plays week in, week out now since he's coming on loan. Um, Daniel Ayala, same sort of business when he's fit. He's our man mountain. He sits inside the heart of the defence. Johnny Alston, right wing back. If not, he'll sort of fit in centre back. And of course, Spencer will go to right wing back. Marvin Johnson, left mid, left wing back, left winger. Rudy Gasteady sits on the bench when he does play and when he does it, when he is up for it. He is a decent player. It worries me because I think we could lose our whole of our defence. If this season genuinely does kickstart again in June, um, we might be without these players. <laughs> and it's the truth. I can't lie to you. I'm just looking at it now thinking, unless they're going to obviously play all the games every every few days or whatever, I don't know how enough the season's going to Obviously, you know what I mean? It has to continue at some point, but how enough is it going to continue? And uh, maybe maybe not affect next season. We don't know. But what I do know is worrying as fans. And I look at this list of players now, and I think well, that's our whole defence gone. Our attack inside of Marvin Johnson is then gone. Of course, he plays on the wing or left wing back. And our number one goalkeeper goes in Ainsley Pears. And now I don't know how much these lads run a week. I know I was happy to take a pay cut. I think it was his missus that posted a picture to Instagram. Was it last week or the week before? Um, basically moving house. Of course, I used to live in Rockcliffe. Um, right near the training ground and I believe that they've moved houses now so they no longer live there I did hear a thing earlier on in the year that it could be going to uh, London to a London club but of course that was all rumour it was all paper talk um, so with Daniel Ayala's future we don't know but what I do know is that these players will probably be looking at themselves now thinking okay well 
What's happened's happened. We're on lockdown. Of course, there's a massive outbreak. We're not playing football. My contract does end June the 30th. I'm not guaranteed of a contract. I might move elsewhere. And it might fairly much happen. If we lose any one of these players, I will be gutted. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be absolutely good because these are all vital players to our team. Johnny Hobson's one of our best players. He's not the best player, but his attitude is unbelievable. Ayala's our man mountain. Now, Ains and Pairs, number one goalkeeper, okay. He could do some more experience. But he's still having a born goalkeeper for right now. Ryan Shotton as well. Um, you know, he's had some quality games this season. He really has. So, I look at it and I think it's worrying times for us fans. Because, of course, nobody knows the true future of our club. Um, but, we have to hope and pray that things obviously turn out okay. Because at the moment, we don't know in terms of contracts. And that's how it stands at the minute. They're the players that could be leaving. And as I say, people, open forum. Leave all your comments down below. What, what, what on earth do you think is honestly going to happen to these players? You know what I mean? These players are going to be out of contract come, come June the 30th. What do you think is going to happen? Comment down below. Let me know uh, all your thoughts regarding these players. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully some light at the end of the tunnel. Positive light at the end of the tunnel for Butter because, of course, our league position about 19th in the league. Uh, we're still fairly much inside the championship relegation fight uh, in terms of the teams that are around us. Teams are obviously allowing players to obviously get fit now due to the lockdown and obviously no one's playing games. Of course, players that were obviously injured are now coming back. So everyone should have a full-strength team come come obviously the start of this whole season starting again. Um, so it's one of those where, of course, we've got plus signs in there as well. But at the same time, when the hell does this season actually continue? With it? Listen, 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 if it starts in June, then we do lose Lucas lose Luke, yeah, lose Lucas Nemetja and Ravel Morrison. They're the two players that we could lose. If it starts in June. Um, do I see it happening next month? Do I see it resuming next month? I don't think so. Um, I don't think it'll start in the start of May. Or even inside the middle of May. Because if we're two weeks behind Italy. Uh, in terms of this whole lockdown uh, and outbreak. Then they've just extended their lockdown to May the 3rd. So I can see next week us doing the same thing. Um, at the moment it's very very sort of dark time inside the world. Nobody can really do much. Of course our lifestyles will have to change. Um, but of course we have to stay indoors. That's the most important thing. Yes, okay, some days it is it is boring and people do want to bang their heads off the wall because of how bored they are, but you just got to remember people, we're all in this together, we're all inside the same boat, we're all bored, we all want our own lifestyle back, but of course we're only going to get it back, if, you know what I mean, if everyone pulls together. Uh, big shout out to the NHS, they're doing an amazing job, um, honestly, it's absolutely unbelievable, you know what I mean, it's absolutely crazy and absolutely unbelievable, I can't put into words just how grateful I am. Just for the NHS, um, you know, what I mean, keeping everyone alive, doing the absolute best, working 12, 13, 14 hour shifts a day. Um, it must be so, so strain on your bodies, and I just can't thank you enough. Honestly, thank you so, so much for everything you're doing. Everyone stay indoors, everybody keep safe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.